what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys shout out to every single one of you that have been commenting um asking questions regarding the facebook business manager regarding how to request access to a business page or to an ad account i've dropped videos like this in the past um but i'm going to just do do a whole new fresh one for the new year 2021 shout out to every single one of you um but i'm fired up man i'm fired up focused the vision is freaking clear and I'm just on a mission, man, on a mission to take my business to the next level through Facebook advertising, um, social media marketing, um, and just making money online. So if you're new to the channel, if you're coming across me for the first time, man, all I really do is drop daily tutorials, day in the life of what I'm doing. I've been building an agency um, since 2016, running Facebook ads for small business owners and real estate agents, um, and then launching my own digital products, getting into affiliate marketing. Um, and really just dropping content on, on what I do daily, whether it's building my social media agency and running ads for other, other clients or whether it's running ads for myself and I'm inside my landing page software and I'm putting together different sales funnels and email automations, whatever it may be, um, making money online, that's the kind of content that I drop on this channel. So if you're new, please subscribe. Um, smash the bell for notifications and just drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. So what I'm going to cover in this video, you guys, I'm going to try to make it short and sweet, but sometimes, man, again, it, it, it's in-depth details on what I try to share. So sometimes the damn video goes on longer than expected, but hopefully I can, I can get this done quick. I'm going to simply show you exactly how to request access to a business page. Now, this is for those that 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 are in the client services business. If you're a freelancer, if you're a, a, an agency owner, if you're running ads for other businesses, if you're running ads for other people, this is what you want to do. Um, now, there's two ways to do it. You can request access to their business page from your account. Um, and or you can request access to their ad account. Now, let me kind of explain why the difference and why the two different options. Option one is when I simply run, when I'm going to be running one ad. So for example, if I'm connecting with a new client, onboarding them, um, and we're really building the business the business relationship, we're really going to get things off the ground, and, and, and we're just starting, right? A lot of the times in the very, very beginning, I'm normally running just a couple ads for them. One time, just to prove myself, just to really solidify what I can do. Um, and normally it starts with one to two ads. Maybe I'll run a like ad, maybe, maybe on their business page. Like for example, what I'm going to be showing you is my, is my, is my client, Christy shot to Christy. But in her case, in the very, very beginning, when we first spoke, she had about 200 likes. Okay. One ad that I'll run in the very, very beginning is a simple like ad is I'll take the 200 likes to 2300, right? A simple one time like ad, just so I can run it on her page, blow her mind and be like, holy shit. This right here is, is, is this guy, David, he really knows what the hell he's doing, right? That's how I've gotten hundreds of clients, man. You can go to back to my playlist, um, how I'm building my social media agency. You can go to my playlist, um, social media strategy calls, in fact, those two playlists are linked below in the description, but I have, I have tons of calls, man, where I'm literally showing my numbers to this day. I've literally onboarded, put it this way, over 500, over 500 for sure, over 500, but I have videos where I'm showing my Stripe account and showing you 400 plus, right? But at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm over 500. I've onboarded over 500 clients through the direct messaging method on social media, direct messaging someone on Facebook, getting them on a Zoom call where I'm presenting to them, showing what I can do, and then blowing their mind from that point on. The first ad that I normally run is a like ad. So, so whether I'm going to run a like ad, sometimes I'll start off the relationship, the business relationship by only running a video ad, right? So I'll have that client pull out their phone introduce themselves. Let's say they're a local real estate agent or a local um, um, dry cleaner or a local dentist or a local yoga studio or a local gym or a local freaking chiropractor or a local spa, whatever the hell it may be. If they're a local business owner, sometimes the very, very first ad that I run, actually, let me, let me rephrase that. The first ad I always run is a like ad because every single one of you that are, that are watching this video, you most likely have a hundred likes, 200 likes. Maybe you've been clicking invite for the past four years and you got 700 likes. 
you're still well over a thousand, well under a thousand likes. So normally the very first ad that I run is that like ad, but sometimes I'll run an intro ad where I have that client pull out their phone, introduce themselves, and I'll run that video ad for them and get them thousands and thousands of views all in their local area on that one single ad. Those types of numbers blow blows a person away. Like they're like, holy shit. Okay. This guy really knows what the hell he's doing. Let's proceed and let's do some more. Right. So in the very, very beginning, normally it's those two ads that I'll run for a client. So therefore I only need access to their business page. I don't need access to their ad account um, because what I do and what I've done. Um, and again, this is just me. I'll charge them upfront for everything. So that one-time payment, a lot of times I'll onboard a client and it's a one-time payment. We're not talking monthly retainer right now. We're talking very, very beginning. This is how I literally gotten over 500 clients by offering a one-time service upfront, right? And it was normally a few hundred, 400, 500, 600, maybe up to a thousand, one time to go run a like ad or do a simple video ad, okay? You guys with me? So in that case, I'll bill them Right, I'll take their credit card number. I'll process that credit card, and and it'll include everything: my services and the Facebook ad. Right, all in one payment that they gave me. So in that case, I'm running the ad from my end, from my ad account, from my business manager. Um, through my business manager, and then and then and then and then get Facebook charging me right. So that's one way I'll do it in the very, very beginning. Now, once we once we end up building a relationship and going on to more of a monthly retaining type of situation where now they're like, okay, shit, they got 2,300 likes. They got 15,000 people to view their video. Now they're fired up to want to do something and work with me monthly. Now, then I'll request access to their ad account because from that point on, now we're going to be running traffic ads, conversion ads lead capture ads. Now I want Facebook to start charging them, right? I'm going to access everything from my ad account from my end. So I don't need passwords or anything like that in the future. I'm going to integrate everything and I'm going to request access on my end to your ad account. And I'm going to run it from my end, but Facebook is going to charge you. And that's when that that's when I really want them to see the numbers. I'll show them, you know, they're reporting everything. It would be in their account is what I'm saying. The like number, the like ad, the first video ad, that's in my account. Those are numbers they don't need to see. I don't show them those numbers. Um, they paid me one time. They paid me for my service. They paid me to run the ad. They don't need to see those analytics. They just need to see the damn 2300. That's all they care about, right? One time ad, I'm in, I'm out. And then and then if we want to you know, bring something on monthly, then we'll talk later. And again, that's when I request access to their ad account. Because from that point on, I want them to see all the numbers because Facebook's going to be charging them their credit card every single, you know, billing payment. Um, um, and, and that's when I'll need the ad account. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to show you how to request access to both sides, whether, whether it's the business page and we're going to do that and that only, and, or the ad account. Um, so you can start running consistent ads for them. And here's the thing. It's, it's one or the other. You don't need to request access to both at the same time. Once you request access to the ad account, then you have access to the page and all that. So, so technically you could just go straight in and access just the ad account. But again, I don't need all that information. I just need, if I'm going to run one like ad, I just need, I just need the business page. Like I don't need your ad account right now, because if I'm not even thinking about bringing you on monthly, or if you're not sure if we're going to do anything monthly, I don't need your ad account right now. Just give me access to the business page and I'll run this like ad. I'll run a, I'll run a simple video ad for you and we'll, We'll, we'll call it a day, a day, right? So let's start with that. I'm going to show you how to simply request access to a business page. And here's what I do. Here's what I do just so the client's not confused because I used to do it that way too, where I'll have, I'll have, um, you know what, here's, I'm going to show you both, both ways that you can do it. I've done every call screen share on zoom. So I never do a phone call. I've never, I've closed over 500 clients, man, all through what I'm showing you right now. And I, And I, and I, and I, and I, um, and I, excuse me. And I, and I, and I've never done a phone call. I've never done a phone call. Okay. Um, what I've always done is I always use zoom screen share so I can visually show them. So here's what I do. Here's what I do. And then I'll tell you what I do now. When I'm on the call like this with them, I'll just walk them through it. I'll walk them through it. I'll walk them through it. I'll request access. I'll tell them what to click on. I'll walk them through it. So let's do it that way. Let's do it that way first. Okay. So 
let's say for example on the I'm on I'm on a line with a client right now. We're on Zoom, we're on screen share and 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 all, I'm sharing my screen right now, right? Cuz then I eventually tell them to to share their screen so I can walk them through it. So here's what I do. Christy, she's looking at my screen right now and here's what I do. I end up going let's let's go back to um I end up telling her to go to her business page, right? Go to her business page. And here's what I do. I come to the business page, I click on copy. So I'm logged into her account over here. That's why I'm, I'm able to show you show it to you this way. So here's how I do it on, on, on the business page. We're requesting access to the business page right now and the business page only, okay? I'll go to her page. I'll copy the link. I want the whole entire thing, right? I copy that link, copy, and then I go into my business settings. So now over here, this is my business account. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to business settings. And here's what's going to happen. I'm going to simply come over here and I'm going to go to pages on the left hand side. Okay. I'm going to come over here, make sure I'm in the right drop down right here, Inspire Digital. I'm going to click on pages. I'm going to click on add. I'm going to click on request access to a page and I'm going to paste in her link. You always want to make sure you see the drop down right there. Okay. So go ahead and do that. So as I'm on the line with her, Boom. And then I, I don't I don't need to check any of these gray. I don't need to shift any of these toggles over here. All I want is I want the full shebang. Give me the whole damn freaking enchilada. Give it to me all. I want admin access right there. Bam. OK, now sometimes you can go to only create ads. You can you can you can kind of, you know, click on whatever the hell you want. But but do the whole thing. Do the whole damn thing. They're hiring you. You're the one you're the one that's in control. You are the freaking big swinging. You know what? This is your deal. Okay. So request access to everything and they won't have any problem, you know, giving it to you. So, and then at the same time, you can always tell them you could, they can remove you as well. So once you show them that part on how to remove you, then, then it's no big deal. So request access right there. So boom. And so here's what I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell Christy. So as I'm on the line, I just copied her link. I just pasted it in on my end. Now I'm going to hit request access. Now here's what's going to happen. I'm going to come over to the page over here, right? And sometimes she'll get a notification up here. Sometimes she'll get a notification. In fact, let me refresh it. Let's see if, if she got the notification. Sometimes it comes over here. It for sure doesn't go on their cell phone. So don't tell them to go, you know, verify on their cell phone. No, on a computer. On a computer, you're telling them to do this. So check the notifications. And if it's not there, because most of the time it's, it's supposed to be there, but, it, but a lot of times it's not. Like it doesn't go there. So... I don't even check the note. I don't even care to have them check the notifications anymore. I have them just go straight into their business page. Okay. So now they're right here in the business page. I come over here and I tell them and I'm walking them through it. So now she's sharing her screen. I tell, I, I tell her Christy, I say, okay, cool. I just requested access to the page. Go to your page, go to share your screen, Christy. And I'm going to walk you through it. So now Christy's sharing her screen. Now I see it. Now I'm walking her through it. I tell her, come over here to settings. And then, I, and then I have her come over here to the left, page roles, okay? Then as she scrolls towards the middle of the page down, she's going to see my name right there, Inspired Digital. And all she's going to do is respond to request. This is going to take her Inspired Digital, and, it's gonna, and all she's going to do is hit continue. And then what she's going to do is accept request, and then it's going to ask her for her password. Okay, so um, control. Okay, so re accept request. Okay, perfect. So now there goes her password. We hit submit and boom, there goes business page access. Okay, so now, and then, and then what I tell her because I just requested admin, right? I got the whole damn thing. In, I'm in control, the whole damn thing. But then I also tell her, I say, hey, Christy, here's the deal. This is how we start. I'm going to run the like ad. I'm going to do the video ad, whatever, right? Just one time ad or whatever. Once we're done with that ad, Christy, you can always come over here and you can remove me from the page, okay? You can remove me from the page. So it's no big deal. You can do that. If I piss you off or whatever, come over here and freaking remove my ass. I don't even care, right? So you can always remove me whenever you want, but I always tell them, say, I say, hey, at least wait till the ad is over, right? And then you can come over here and remove me. Therefore, I have no more access to your pages and can't do anything, okay? So now here's the deal though. Here's what's very, very important. She just accepted my request. She just added me. Here's what's very, very important. You must go back to your account. Click close, okay? Refresh your page. 
This is very, very important. Very, very important. Refresh your business settings. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're in the pages and now I see right here owned by, and then I say permissions given, right? I got the admin, all that. But what I must do is I must add myself to the page as well. So right there, I must put David. I must come down here, manage admins, assign. Now I have full access to that page. So as I come over here to the ads manager and I come over here and click the green button and, and, and go to the ad setup. Now, as I go through the ad setup, I'll have the option to choose to run the ad from that specific page. And that's all you guys. So now you can see I have, um, let's go back to the business settings. Um, and here's the deal. She can remove me from her end and I can also remove myself from my end. Okay. So I just showed you how she can remove me, remove me. But if I want to remove myself, I can come over here, click on pages. I can, I can go to her name right here and I can click remove right here, which is what I'm going to do. Remove. Bam. Now I have no more access to that business page. Now, if I come back to her account, right? If I go back to her business page and if I refresh this, my agency's right there, Inspired Digital, that should not be there anymore. Bam, nothing there but her name. So that right there, you guys, is gonna give you the ability to run a simple ad, maybe a couple ads, whatever you got to do to um, to to get to build a relationship and, and really build your credibility on, on how badass you are as an agency owner or a freelancer or an advertiser, whatever the hell you want to call yourself. Um, and that kind of that that's kind of just how I did it. I've again over 500 clients. I will start off small. I would start off um, on just a couple ads and really build up that relationship and really really earn the trust. And then after that clients end up bringing me, bringing me aboard for, for fun, for something, you know, more, more um, monthly and, and retaining. But today going into 2021, where I'm at right now, I'm not even taking on monthly clients. That's why I don't have any access to pages. I'm not even doing that anymore. I'm going into a whole different space, which is digital publishing, affiliate marketing, things like that. So again, if you're new to the channel, man, should subscribe. If you're trying to make money online, subscribe. If you're, if you're trying to build a business online, subscribe, that's the type of content that I drop on this channel. So, um, um, so, so, so that's how you want to do it. That's how you want to do it to request access to a business page. Now let's shift gears and let me show you how to request access to, um, to, um, the actual ad account. Okay. So now here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, um, to go into the ad account. And here's, here's another thing, you guys, as you notice, I'm in her Facebook, right? I'm in her Facebook account. So from the very, very beginning, I used to just have clients, you know, get on screen share and I'll walk you through it and, 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 and do it this way. Right. But now I just ask them for that one time password up front, like give me the password up front. I'll make sure I go in there and, and add myself to everything. And then once I'm done, then you can change your passwords. That's what I tell people now, like give me 24 hours. Or actually, shit, I don't even say 24 hours. I say, if I'm talking to them during the day, I'll say, Hey man, give me until 10 PM. I'll request access to your ad account. I'll request access to your business page or whatever I got to do. And then at 10 PM, if you need to change your password, because after that, I won't need to log in anymore. I'll already have access to the business page from my end, or I'll already have access to your ad account from my end. And I don't need to log into your personal Facebook ever again. All right. So give me till 10 PM. I got a lot of shit going on. I got a lot of clients. I'm closing deals, blah, blah, blah. Give me till 10 PM. And then you can change the password. Right. So that's why I tell people now, because, um, that way I could just do this on my end and not have to freaking, you know, bother them and try to walk them through this shit because a lot of times they're busy. So you take care of it, you know, on your end and 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 everything is, is, is fine and dandy. So here's how we do the ad account. OK, so what we're doing is we're going to go to the business manager. So I'm in her Facebook right now. If I click on the, the little icon, the little house icon on the, on the top, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on to the left. I'm going to click on business manager. And that, that's going to bring me back to the ads manager, which is, which is where I want to be. Um, and so now if I click on ads manager, that's what I want to do. I want to go into the actual platform, the ads manager platform. Don't try to do any of this, any of this from your cell phone. Don't try to do any of this from a computer. I mean, excuse me, from, from your business page. Go into the ads manager. You want to be right here, okay? So I'm in her account, 
now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give myself access to her ad account. Okay. That way I can simply from my account, I can choose this drop down right here. I can click on the drop down from my account. I can choose her Christy ad manager and run ads from her ad account, but from my end. Okay. If you need to hear that again, freaking rewind that and listen to that part again. Um, so this just gives you the ability, again, to, to stay in your ad account, not have to log into their Facebook or anything like that. Um, you're you're, you're going to be able to access everything from your end and your end only. Okay, so I'm in her ad, I'm in her ads manager right now. What I want to do is I want to come over here to business settings. Okay, I want to go to business settings. And then here's what I want to do. I'm going to come over here to the left hand side and I'm going to click on ad accounts. Okay add accounts. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a partner. So this ad account, Christy ad manager, this is where she runs all of her ads from. So I'm going to simply assign partner and I'm going to go business ID. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply come over here to mine. I'm going to come over here to mine and I'm going to simply come to ad accounts right here. This is mine. Okay. Go to ad accounts and I'm going to simply click on add I'm going to go to request access to an ad account. I'm going to simply go with the or. So I'm not going to type in the ad ID number there. I'm going to simply do the bottom one. I'm going to copy this ad account number right there. I'm going to copy that. And that's what I'm going to bring over to her business ID over here. So I'm going to paste in that. I'm going to come down here. Again, I want manage ad access. I want admin access. I'm going to hit next and the asset was just added. So now I'm gonna hit done. So I'm in her account, right? So if I refresh this page right here, I'm gonna refresh my end over here as well on my ad account. But if I refresh hers, then what she's gonna see is she's gonna see, um, she'll see that, that's fine. But let me go into mine. And now I just did that. So now if I hit refresh over here, we should see her name right here in the list to the to, to towards the left right here in the middle. Bam, right there at the top. So I'm going to click her name right there. Now, this is very, very important. I'm going to add myself to that account. So I'm going to go manage. I'm going to go admin access, manage add account. I'm going to click assign. Done. Now, here's where the magic is. Now, as I go in, this is my account, right? So as I go into the ads manager, now I'm going to see her name in the dropdown. So if I'm, if I'm going to run ads right here, look, I'm running the ad right here from my account from, from this one right here, the top, the dropdown, FB ads cheat sheet. But if I click on it, I'll come down, bam, there goes hers right there, right there. So now I can run ads from my end. This is my ads manager, right? I can run ads from my end right here, but from her ad account. Now, what's tied to her ad account? Her credit card. What's tied to her ad account? Her Facebook pixel. So now as I run ads from her ad account, right, I can see all the ads. She can see all the ads. She can see all the numbers. She can see the analytics. She can see all the metrics on her end, right? And I can see everything from my end as well. So now it's 10 p.m. She changes her passwords. I don't need access to that anymore. Now I can just come in and operate through my ads manager, run ads through her ad account on her behalf. Okay. So again, access the business page when you're only going to do a couple ads. Access the ad account when they hire you monthly to do a more consistent, to run more consistent campaigns for them. Okay. Um, so hopefully that made sense to you guys right there, or hopefully that made sense to you guys right there. That's how you request access to a Facebook business page and how you request access to a Facebook ad account. All right, guys. So have fun, man. 2020, 2021 is your year and just continue to crush it. I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.